Hello everyone, welcome back to Star Trek Online, the Borg playthrough. I am here with my awesome Twitch here live on Twitch as we continue playing through the Cold War story arc on Star Trek Online, uh, playing as the Borg. Of course, there's no Borg faction, so we had to do our best to spoof one of our own, but uh, let us continue with... Cold case. Eh. <laughs> I did not say twatch. With my Twitch. Twitch, Twitch. We're gonna watch on Twitch. <laughs> Alright. Don't mind me being over here at Nimbus. We're gonna watch with our crotch. All right, yes, cold case. You must return to Defera immediately. The Breen are searching for preserver technology, and they have once again targeted the ruins near our city. I fear that more of my people will die. And with each death, the balance shifts. These attacks need to stop. We are depending on you. Stop the Breen and keep the secrets of the Preservers safe from their treachery. And we are on our way. Watch out for the watch out for the crotch. <laughs> to paraphrase a favorite joke of mine, he's like, you know what? The Swiss are well known for making fantastic watches, known as the Swatch. But we're actually should be quite happy that uh, the, the those specialized time pizzas weren't uh, made in Croatia. It wouldn't be right to say, what time is it? I don't know. Let me look at my crotch. <laughs> Jeff Dunham, by the way. <laughs> I'm bored. Let's go hunt ghosts. Go hunt ghosts. What do you mean go hunt ghosts? <laughs> Welcome in, eh, hunt. To my little friend. Phasmo? <laughs> I, was I don't have Phasmo <laughs> installed anymore. Because you were trying to turn one way and I was turning it the other way, which made it feel like it was stuck. And you know so why yes, I had conflict. to uninstall Phasmo? They do conflict. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. Wow. I was so confused. <laughs> Somebody clip that, please. <laughs> yes, do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Cold case. Captain, long range scans confirm the Deferi ambassador's suspicions. It appears that there is a portion of the star chart hidden in the ruins on the planet's surface. Something is interfering with the scans, though, so we can't pinpoint the location from here. An away team might be able to do surface scans in order to locate the star chart and retrieve it, but we will need to close. We will need to close get close to transporter range in order to beam down. Oop. If we were to play it, you'd be doing it in VR. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Just fly through the debris field. Dun, 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 dun. Good thing we got shields. Good thing we have the shields. And a wild Anorith has appeared. Catch that Pokemon. Actually, let me see if I, I'll reinstall. I'll see if I can reinstall it. I should have enough. I should have enough space. I I uninstalled so many things. So if I can get at least one episode in of Star Trek, I don't mind playing something else for a little bit. Okay. 
Captain, look down there. That ruined area is consistent with our records of potential preserver sites. If there really is a fragment of the star chart on this planet, there's a very good chance that's where it would be. Oh yeah, do I have my new ability yet? I do not. Where's my new ability? Ha ha ha! I have an electric net. Uh, I mean, it's an 80% chance to catch a Pokemon, so there's still a 20% chance that it'll fail. Which still sucks, but it's... It's a non-zero percent chance to fail. Should have used an Ultra. Oh wait, oh wait, Ultra, Ultra, Ultra. So what's, I think, is Great Ball like 50%? I don't remember. Somebody smarter than me knows. Sorry, not you. <laughs> I mean, you can look it up in the, uh, in the extension. All right. Let's go assimilate Sabrine. Sir, I've just received updated data from the ship's computer. Apparently, this site closely resembles a preserver site in the, in the Bagan system. The indigenous people there were able to access the site by performing a ritual. Records indicate that three people arranged themselves atop, atop plinths, forming arrows to point east, then south, then southeast. East, south, southeast. That's all the data I have, sir, but we may find it applicable to this site as well. East, south, southeast. East, south, southeast. To order the members of your way team to stand in a certain location, use the way team command. Yeah, okay. I mean, there's no east, south, and southeast. There's, there's northeast, southeast, northwest, and southwest. On the thing, dummy. It's so wonky. Can you go pet the treble? Move. Okay. 
Okay, let's start with this. Actually, Captain, we should try a different configuration. That's east! Oh, okay. Never mind. See why they didn't have these puzzles all that often. It takes off. Okay, so you definitely need to be there. Let's take winter mute off of it. Winter mute needs to be where they were at, so Hal needs to move. Okay. Or maybe... Okay. Oh, it's annoying. Okay. Like, it makes very little sense to begin with, for one. Okay, Shodan, you stand there. Sh Shodan, you stand there. Let us, you stand there. Okay. That's east. Or what? East, south, southeast, right? Or maybe because I'm... I can I can remember why they they don't do this anymore. Okay. And I don't feel like fucking with it because it's it's there's no good logic behind it. Like I remember it being like poor logic. Wasn't there a walkthrough of this? Where is it? There it is. Solve the puzzle. Use the individual rally puts at this time on square panels. The three that you need in the proper order to unlock the star map. Find a cheat sheet for this puzzle here. <sighs> North, south, east, west. That's west! Because that's the stairs are on the west side of the thing. West. See, this is what I'm talking about. They tell they tell you, okay, you gotta you gotta have you gotta sit in a certain formation. North is this way, which means the uh, the stairs are on the west hand side. 
He tells you east, south, southeast. That's why I don't have any problems cheating on this, because whoever made this puzzle didn't do it very well. One moment. Okay. So in here. Stand here. Stand here. Like, I remember it being broken. It worked, Captain. There are power fluctuations in the base of the Only two more configurations until we are granted access. Thank you for the hydrate, Ghosty. Okay, the next one. Okay, you come over here. Right? Yeah. Something is definitely working, sir. I'm picking up significant energy shifts in the structure beneath us. One more configuration should unlock the structure. And then the last one is... All of them except that one. So you... Come over here. And Wintermute, you go over here. We've done it, Captain. Sensors show that the structure is reconfiguring itself internally. It appears to be generating a holographic display matrix. We can review the data later, but I think we found the first person per first portion of the preserver's star chart. Oh, I'm stuck in it. Okay. Of course I'm stuck in it. Captain, ship sensors are reporting multiple anomalous contacts. It may be Breen ships at long range, sir. The transporter room is standing by to beam you up as soon as you're ready. Bun cheating at a broken puzzle. I remember it being... Captain, there's a Breen attack force converging on our position. They must have realized that we could... Would be coming here for part of the star chart, sir. I'll bet they waited for us to do the work so they could swoop in and steal our data. There's no room to make a run for it. We're going to have to fight our way. Going to red alert! They shall be assimilated. True story, don't look it up. That's the last of them, sir. Though with all this debris, I don't trust the sensors. I'll be happier once we're out of this area and back into open space. The computer has completed the ana its analysis of the star chart, and there is an encoded marker indicating that the Shahenga system is a significant location. Perhaps we should investigate there next. I'll lay it in course at your command, sir. Leave the system. And we're Borg, so we just transwarp everywhere.
Shahinga Prime is an L-class world with a diameter of 13,447 kilometers. It has an atmosphere of oxygen and argon com compounds, with a high percentage of carbon dioxide. Primitive flora and, single -cell or and single cell organisms have been found on scans of the surface. Both Sahinga Prime and its moon orbit a Class B dwarf star. Oh, I forgot to do my daily shit. Maybe I'll do that after this episode. Oh well. Captain, I am detecting a gaseous anomaly on the far side of the planet. The line of navigational beacons should lead us right to it. That seems like a good place to start our search, sir. Oh yeah, this is a cool map. Where's a good buddy? Ah, uh, thank you for that. Yes, but... you're a good boy. Thank you. Sampling space farts! We've transported a sample of the gas to a containment chamber, sir, but there's no record of anything with this molecular structure on record. It might be a synthetic compound, or the byproduct of some sort of as yet unknown stellar phenomenon. Our science staff is now working on a complete analysis. I've got something, Captain. The preservers were known to encode data in the world around them. So I superimposed the molecular structure of this gas sample onto the orbital pattern of the system. It's a map, sir, and it's pointing to something beneath the surface of that small moon. Recommend we approach and perform a level 1 submolecular scan to determine if there's anything of note there. This is incredible. The interior of the moon is hollow, and it contains a vast geographic, geological orrery that charts the heliocentric motions of everything in this solar system. The orrery suggests that there should be two large asteroids in this area, but I'm only reading one. Perhaps they collided in the millennia since the structure was created. I am, however, reading an energy source on the remaining asteroid, but it's buried deep in the rubble of the surface. If there was a collision, it is logical to assume that the rubble is all that remains of the second asteroid. We will need to remove the rubble to get a better reading on the energy source, sir.
astonishing. Who knows how long this trail of breadcrumbs has been here, just waiting to be discovered. We should scan the star chart and add it to our existing fragment. Perhaps it will point the way to the next fragment. The computer has synthesized a new star chart from the two fragmentary scans, Captain. Preliminary analysis indicates that whoever created these charts placed great significance on an L-class planet in the Manic system. Course plotted and standing by to engage on your command, sir. to the Manic system. Manic Prime is an L-class world that was populated approximately 25,000 years ago. Ruins linked to the preservers have been found on the planet. The Federation Archaeology Council has requested permis permission to survey the surface of Manic 3 as well, but the remains of that world have been deemed too dangerous for an away mission. Captain, I'm detecting a Breen squadron dead ahead, but they're moving away from us at full impulse. The Breen almost always stand and fight when they encounter a Romulan vessel. They must already have what they came for, or else they would be engaging us directly. We can't let them get away with a piece of the star chart. They could beat us to the archive. We'll have to chase them down and take the chart back. Sir, we have intercepted a transmission from one of the Breen ships. The message was unsecured. They must not have had time to encrypt it during the firefight. The message contains a fragment of the star chart. They must have retrieved it from the planet below before we arrived. For all we know, Breen ships could already be en route to this archive. I will begin analysis to determine our next location immediately. Since the size updated star chart. Star chart analysis complete, Captain. The map is leading us back to Rave 2. We need all the pieces of the chart to find what the preservers were hiding. We will not let the Breen stand in our way. Course laid in, sir. We can leave on your command. Just leaving tractor mines everywhere. Go to the Rave sector. The Rave system is a binary system with a blue dwarf star in orbit of a much larger class B star. Light from two stars should make Rave 2 much warmer than it actually is, but a thick layer of theta radiation in the upper atmosphere reflects much of the energy back from the stars, keeping average surface temperatures on the planet low. More than 70% of the landmass of Rave 2 is covered with snow and ice for the majority of the solar year. Scanners are picking up evidence of a running skirmish on the surface of the planet, sir. 
It appears that the Breen are attacking an archaeological dig site. We better get down there as soon as possible if we don't want the Breen to escape with another piece of the star chart, sir. Captain, take a look at these scans. The frozen rock near the center of the crater shows signs of a hollow interior, and these readings are consistent with preserver power sources. There are multiple Breen life signs in the area, sir, and they're moving in a search pattern. They haven't found the entrance yet. We will have to subdue the guards in order to approach them. By subdue, do you mean assimilate? I do believe so. Green Fett has been eliminated, sir. We should take this opportunity to find a way into the cave. Actually have uh, way too many things. I think this is one that, yeah, it's bound to me. Same with this. Duty officers, I need to do something with too. Let's just, uh, change protected status to on on that, change protected status on to that, and to that. We can always sell those. Okay, salvage all the rest. There we go, now we have room.
Preserver console. You bastards. I'd like to personally thank you for finding the final star chart fragment. If I'd known you were going to ultimately prove useful, perhaps I'd have considered sparing your life. Of course, I'd only I'd have only spared it up to this point anyway. So s things would have ended the same either way. Still, considering all you've done to aid the Breen on their final goal, I might consider letting you and your officers live. Why not just beam back to your ship and flee back to the shadows? If you wish to fall today, however, I am happy to help you. Why don't you think it over and give your answer to Thought Par? He's been dying to meet you ever since the defeat of Thought Gran. Be gone, Thought! Oh shit! Showed in and I got injuries. This must be the final piece of the star chart. We should scan and then assemble it. You can't keep a good Borg down. As we're having some trouble here. Well, you should take that and that. Shodan, you can take a hypo. Winter mute, you have hypos. Okay, we'll just go with that. Assemble the star chart. Scanning and transmission are complete, Captain. We should now be able to follow the Preserver star chart. With luck, we'll be there and gone before the Breen arrive. Standing by to beam up the away team on your command. Excellent work, Admiral. Our stellar cartography teams are looking at the star charts you recovered as we speak. It might take some time to completely compensate for stellar shift, but if we can pinpoint a location, I am confident that my government will authorize an expedition to find the Preserver Archive. All things in balance, and all things in time. Biothermal detonator. Congratulations, Admiral. Ooh, and a level up? Let's go! Throw that in there, because why the hell not? Alright, and that is going to be it for this episode of Star Trek Online The Borg. For those of us, us on Twitch, we are going to take a quick break while we decide what we are going to do next or start into another episode. But for those of you uh, watching on YouTube, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Bye-bye!